Welcome back to JJW Outdoors. Justin here. Today we have a new bushcraft item that we're going to be creating with our new forge. So have you ever used auger bits with your auger kit for bushcraft? So a lot of the older times, the older days, they had this type of a setup right here. Some of these were smaller, some of these were different shapes, but here's the one that I have bought from an old yard sale that I wanted to fix up and use. But I didn't want to carry this big old contraption out in the woods like this. So today we're going to be making something that looks a lot like this, but more bushcrafty. I hope you enjoy. Please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel because I have something awesome for you. So for today's materials, you are going to need an auger bit itself. And you're going to be needing one of these right here. So let me get a bit closer and show you what this is. So here I have a T going to a quarter inch reducer. All we're gonna do is screw this in here. We're gonna make it tight and we're gonna put this in our forge and I'll explain in a minute why. So now that we have our kit, you're gonna need some type of vice grips or pliers depending on what you wanna tighten this up with. All I'm gonna do is I'm going to lock this on here. I'll open it up a little bit. I'll lock this on here and we're gonna tighten this thing up just like this. We don't want that coming out. So now that you know what we're working with, now we're gonna need our auger bit. So for this project, and I'll show you this up close, the auger bit is going to go inside of here when we heat this up. And it's actually gonna to forge to this square end that they have here. And what that's gonna allow you to do is instead of carrying something big like this out in the woods, you can carry something little like this, and then you go cut a stick you put a stick through here and now you have a long handle to use your auger kit. Plus, you can get different size augers that will fit inside of here. Because if you notice, this tapers from big to small. So when you put this in here and you pound down on it, it's gonna make this hole larger and forge around your item. So then I can take this bit out and put in a smaller auger bit or a larger auger bit, because all these ends are the same. Now let's take this, head over to our forge, throw this in the forge, get it heated up for our project. So as of right now, until I go buy better tools for a forge, we are gonna be using a pair of vice grips to get things in and out of our forge. So let's take a stick really quick. I'm just gonna move this piece of charcoal over here. We're gonna put our T right here. Now when I set this in the fire, I want it to go like this so it heats up this bottom, not this. Because when I go to pound on here, I don't want to warp this. I want to warp this, if that makes sense. So now, let's take these, and all we're going to do is we're going to set this right there. Then we're going to turn this on low heat right now. And then we're gonna get some charcoal around. So there we go, now that we have our auger bit, our auger bit handle, and our stick, we have created an awesome auger kit that you can carry out in the woods for bushcraft. So as most of you know, this is what you started with. It's pretty big. Ended up being this, with this. 
There's the kit. Sits in there like that to drill. This is half the size, twice as small, and you can cut your stick out in the woods. Hope you enjoy. Please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel because I have another video coming up shortly for you. The best part about doing this way is it's lighter, it's smaller, it's more compact in your bag. Thank <laughs> you.